You know, that stuff that happened in Fort Hood is tragic. It is just so unbelievably beyond comprehension that we have to put our faith and our trust in the people that we work with and the people that help serve and support our country in times of war like we're in now. And when somebody snaps like this, it's like, who screwed up? Who didn't see it coming? You know? Who didn't help? Who said the right words that pushed him over the edge and uh, made him take the actions he did? I so sympathize with so many people that have lost someone and, and the tragedies of, of, uh, of the families that have, uh, have wounded people and and you know the holidays on the way it's it's going to be even more tragic it really is it's just going to it's going to be such a burden for people to try to get over this and and get not past it but and to try to comprehend and understand and uh, try to deal with it <coughs> but i got to tell you you know this guy was islamic and you really can't just box it all in the, you know, oh, it's the Muslims again, or it's the Islamics again, you know. You really can't, and not until we find out, you know, whether he was working alone or if he was coerced, you know, or, or he was part of a some big master plan. But, you know, from what I've understood, um, this guy's been in the military for a long time. You know, he's, he's done an excellent job and uh, done what he needed to do, and just the the stress and fear of going back to Iraq or going to Iraq, I, I don't remember whether he was already back there or not, but, you know, um, going back there and going to that kind of a situation when he was so opposed to it and yet, you know, he was being pushed into it and that was his orders. That's what happens when you're in the military. Uh, maybe that's all it took to make him snap, you know. And my... Uh, my uh, kudos go out to uh, the gal, the police officer there, who uh, really, really shined when her training was needed, and uh, she did what she had to do, and I hope she doesn't have nightmares over it, but uh, I bet she will. So, try not to back them, try not to box them all into one, one uh, train of thought, okay, because, you know, with uh, the Islamic nation... And with Muslims and all that other stuff out there, you know, they got their own opinions. They got their own ways of doing things, and they are not all uh, mindlessly violent like some of them are. So, anyway, peace to all of you, and uh, I hope you can all find a way to, to get past this and, and move on.